All that to come for you and a look at the Europa League as well. But we'll start in Ukraine. The recent conflict with Russia has made for traumatic viewing with many thousands of lives lost. We spoke to Shakhtar Donetsk captain Dario Serna on what life has been like. Western leaders meeting in Kiev have warned that the situation there is sliding towards total war. Months of fighting between government forces and pro-Russian rebels has claimed more than 5,000 lives. I think that nobody who, who, who passed through the war don't have good experience. I don't live in my house, I don't sleep in my house. Uh, it's difficult for my child because she's every day, she's asking when we go back to Donetsk, she has school there, she has a lot of friends. I cannot believe that in the 21st century that somebody killed the people. You can, you can make a new stadium, you can build a new house, you can build a new, new hotel, but you cannot give back the human life. It's life. We must pass through this and uh, we must be more stronger. For me it was a disaster and uh, I had a lot of positive and emotional connection with Donetsk because I lived there already 12 years. I bought a house, uh, my family lived there with me. And of course, at this moment, is we can, what I can to do and uh, all people who, who want help, we can just help to children. For me, children is the future of Ukraine, the future of the football, children is all. In this moment, they need, they need help. Everything what I need, I have in Shakhtar, this club, who is going every year step by step to top. A lot of good players who is playing in Brazilian, Croatian, Romanian, Czech, Ukrainian national team. And I'm so happy to be, to be captain and part of this team. It's not the first time that we play on this level with three months of, uh, without game, without training. We are, we are ready. We make uh, good trainings here in Spain. It's important that we don't have injured players. Unfortunately, we don't play on our stadium in Donetsk because it's against Shakhtar in Donetsk, it's difficult to play. We beat a lot of big teams there. We, I think in uh, three years, four years, that we lose maybe four or five games at home. It's difficult because we have fantastic atmosphere. For me, uh, Bayern Munich is favorite this game because they are a team who have a fantastic player, top coach, their first two, three team in the in the Europe. They win Champions League two years ago and uh, we have big respect to Bayern Munich. We play a lot of, lot of time against Barca. Guardiola was coach of Barcelona. We know him very good. If you look at the football of Bayern Munich, they play like Barcelona. For me, one of the best coaches in the world. Big respect to him. Uh, and he knows how to play against us. because, And we know how to play against him. And we will see. I say that favorite in this game is Bayern, but uh, if you want to beat Champions League, you must beat top team. But in football, everything is possible. We play for uh, our fans, for our city. Unfortunately, in this situation, it's not possible to, to play there. But uh, we play for them, we play for our city, for Donbass, and we play for peace in Ukraine. It's an incredible story, isn't it? Uh, Donetsk remains one of the most heavily affected areas in Ukraine. And as we're saying there, they're unable to play in the Donbass region. They play some 600 miles away in Lviv. I know it probably sounds a bit crass and a little glib, but football does yeah. pale into insignificance when you hear about what's been going on in the region. Yes, it? it does. I mean, he says it himself. You know, even his family, of course, um, affected by, uh, by what's been happening over there in the Ukraine. And it does. I think we all recognise that as well. You know, we've got big games coming uh, coming up this week in the Champions League, but that's the most important thing from uh, from Ukraine's point of view. Yeah, viewers of uh, BBC World News will know there's been a ceasefire announced for this weekend, which starts on um, Saturday night and Sunday morning. So we'll keep you up to date with that across the channel. But in terms of matters on the pitch and the football, this now the Champions League starts the season for Shakhtar mm. and they face a very tough task against Pep Guardiola's Bayern Munich. It's hard to see many teams getting past yeah. a force like that, isn't it? It is. And of course, it's something that Dario Cern has mentioned, that they're away from the home stadium, mm. which is going to affect Shakhtar because they've got a formidable home record, outstanding over the last few years there. And they're a good side. But of course, under Pep Guardiola, Bayern will probably win the Bundesliga again this season. They're well clear, albeit they've had a, a bit of a blip lately when they lost to Wolfsburg the other week, uh, losing quite heavily in, in that game. But overall, I would imagine that Bayern will be, get through in this game, yeah. 